Northeast Wichita new build is what we're going to walk you through today. This one's built by Craig Sharp and it's at 37th and Greenwich area to give you an idea or Greenwich, however you want to say it. And it's listed by Melinda Cryer with Richie and Associates. And this is a Richie development. And we're starting inside because it's windy out today, but I'm going to go outside here in a second to show you the outside first and then do the inside. But before we get into all that, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff really helps you grow the channel, get to know Wichita, get to know new builds, houses here, the market, the community, all that fun stuff. So if you could please like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm gonna flip this around here in a sec and we're gonna go back outside and start from there. See you in a sec. All right, so this is the front of the home and I'm gonna do my, the best I can with this wind noise. So bear with me if that interferes here. Uh, but this is at 11613 Winston Street in the Brookfield edition. And this is the Somerset Breeze plan by Craig Sharp. And we're gonna walk around the outside of it. But first I wanna give you an idea of like the street view, the neighborhood, what's going on here. It is a new development. So you're gonna have a decent amount of construction going on in the area, which you'll see in a sec. This is kind of like model home row. It gives you an idea of what all the builders are like in Wichita, what homes they're building. Um, you know, you can definitely go approach plans, builders, lots, layouts and all that. And that's where you still wanna have us involved as a purchase agent. And that's where my construction background really comes in to help advise you on what's appropriate, what's not, the cost of things, future resale value. And most of the time our fee is paid for uh, by the builder, by the seller anyway. So it's kind of like might as well have involved in there as well. Sometimes. The impression is that you get a better deal if you go straight to the builder, lot agent, that kind of thing, but that's not always entirely the case. But anyway, I want to give you an idea of this layout. It's got a mid-century modern design, as you can tell, but obviously it's brand newly built. It's bigger floor plans than some of the mid-century modern um, older homes that were built back then, but that's the design and feel and style of it. But let's go ahead and walk in and check it out. So right when you walk up, you'll notice a lot of the flat lines, sleek lines, and you have lighting in your soffits here. And, you know, keep in mind, a good amount of this is still fairly customizable. Like if you want stone instead of brick, if you want to lower that brick and have some featured siding, car siding, a lot of this is still customizable. If you're looking to build this floor plan with Craig Sharp and us um, coming to Wichita. Um, to give you an idea, it is 2,033 square feet up, 1661 square feet down on it all. And something like this goes for around 700,000 ish. I can't quote price because of our advertising guidelines. Large metal door with a good entrance foyer right when you walk in and you walk right into the main living room space. You have kind of this feature slat wall to the side with which featured ceilings, large windows you can see out the back. This one's got a lot more of a large, grand, open, square space to it. Um, right when you walk in, you have kind of a living room space, dining room space, bar, kitchen area is all open with it all. Um, keep in mind, like if you are looking to relocate to the Wichita area, we can do video tours like this. If you're in the Wichita area, it's typically best to walk around, see things in person, just to get a feel used to the space and how it is in person. As you can see, they're still building homes in the back. And that is one thing about new builds and new developments is you're going to have a decent amount of construction going on uh, when you're building a new home, essentially. The other thing to take into account for new builds in Wichita, if you're not entirely familiar, general property taxes are typically about 1% of purchase price, but then you also need to account for specials, which go towards the roads, the sewers, the street lights, the sidewalks, the clubhouse, all the amenities that come from the development that are assessed in the form of a special tax. And that's one thing to take into account that any new build or newer development is gonna have those in here that aren't necessarily reflected in the price. But we, I, and I can tell you a case by case example once we get to that. But check out this large pantry area that's actually got more of like a butler's pantry type of setup. I am very, very sneaky, sir. With the microwave hidden in the back so that that way you can kind of microwave all your stuff, use this large walk-in pantry. We've been seeing people put dishwashers in here, sinks in here, so you can kind of just throw all your muddy, not muddy. I like feet. But dirty dishes back here and keep playing if you're having a party. Not have to worry about cleaning up all the dishes. Full gas range on everything, custom cabinets. Imagine, yeah, these are soft closed drawers, double oven, full sink. 
And I'm not going in super detail like I would if I was doing a video walkthrough with a client, just for the sake of time. It's really trying to give you an idea of a walkthrough of a new build in Northeast Wichita with Craig Sharp. And then if we are doing one of these video walkthroughs with you, we would take our time, pay attention to detail, whatever customizations you wanna consider, learn about you, learn about your preferences, everything else that goes with that. Uh, but this is just kind of giving you an idea of a video walkthrough. So um, right to the left of the front door when you walk in. So here's the front door. If you take a left, your primary bedroom is over here that has its attached laundry room, large primary closet that I'm gonna walk you through just to give you an idea of the layout. So go to the left here and that's where your laundry room is at. Go to the right. This is your primary bedroom space to give you an idea of the size of it and the layout, the design features, all that that go with it. So there's your primary bedroom. That's your laundry room. Just trying to give you an idea of feel for the layout of the space as you walk through this and see what it's like. You got mosaic tile, mosaic designer style tiles, two large vanities with the feature wall and the lighting to go with each vanity mirror, his and her sinks, walk-in shower with a wood-like tile. And then it's got the slat drain in the back with the shelf or a bench, I should say. And then you have a light or a window up above to give you more light within it. Then your walk-in closet, your toilet closet, walk-in closet has lots of natural light, lots of shelving, lots of rods, maximizing the storage space to fit all of your clothes in here. Ladies, I hope all your clothes fit in here. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't though. <laughs> Excuse me? But then to your right, as part of your closet space is your full-on laundry room. We have kind of a folding table. You could add more cabinets in there if you wanted to, but then your washer and dryer go over here with more closet space cabinet space, whatever you want to call it there. So this is kind of like an extension of your closet with more usable space in the laundry. And then you have that um, closet at the back too, where you could put linens, towels, blankets, whatever extra type of material you have there. But that gives you an idea of the primary bedroom, laundry, closet, bathroom spaces on the left of the house. To the right, you have the open floor plan concept in the middle. And then as you walk towards the basement in the garage, we have your lanai to the left, which is a uh, covered patio with the fireplace. Stairwell down to the bottom. That would be your garage entrance here. So we'll go there first and then we'll go outside. And then from here, you have kind of like your feature wall setup. Not really sure what goes there. There's some cool art stuff. And you have your office bedroom over here. So that would be technically a whole nother bedroom. Your additional full bath on the first floor. That most of your guests would be using. And then your additional third bedroom up here. So you have three bedrooms, two bath, two full baths upstairs. So we'll walk up to the office space first, give you an idea of that. And then this is looking out towards the front of the home. Again, I would go slower if this was an actual tour, walk through with the client. This is more so just to give you a feel for it all in as quick as possible as fashion. Need to pause or check things out, slow it down to consider, let me know. If you're seriously considering about moving to Wichita, doing a new build, this kind of thing, let me know. We can set one of these up for you custom. Go from there. So there's the two bedrooms on the opposite side of the primary. This would be your second bath that you have with full cabinets. Uh, that is tile stone countertop with a sink or a table mat sink or whatever you call that. Big old mirror, modern br uh, brush brass finishes. Then let me back it up to go into the garage. Give you an idea of that. Get the lights on in here. So pretty good sized garage, got the taller doors to accommodate taller trucks, depending on what your vehicle is like. We can extend these out typically a foot or two if you got a long truck or further than that, because garage space is fairly inexpensive. But this one is all sheetrocked in, not necessarily painted, and they're not always even sheetrocked in. So it kind of depends on where you're at on those things, what your pricing and expectations are. So here's the garage, the two bedrooms, the bathroom. And let's go check out this deck. So a lot of builders are going towards concrete decks just because they have a better design and life to them. They don't sag, they don't weather, they don't wear out. Um, yes, they will crack, but altogether, that's typically a more durable situation and a better product than using traditional wood decking that has problems over time. 
this gives you an idea of the lanai you can also have your tv hooked up out here you got a fan for when it's hot out a lot of people screen these in to kind of make it an all-weather three season room see the builders the white framers over there doing their work putting it together i don't know if you can really see it too well but on that house too they're putting in a precast concrete deck which is one you can still go underneath instead of having a whole foundation on so then the side of the home nothing too interesting here really other than you can access your yard from this way and to go out the side go down around your yard do what you want to do there now let's go downstairs and check it out so lvt or lvp flooring on the landing and all the way throughout the first floor carpet on the stairs the bedrooms and downstairs so with this you have a large feature wall for watching tv a wet bar to your right same thing with the entrance to the exterior there from outside and then to your left you have the pub room game room whatever you want to call it there with the cool feature wall and lighting you have a storage closet back there with your sump pump and then your main utility closet over this way so all obviously when they're brand new all new appliances everything's new which you still want to get inspection on that um where you want to make sure everything works like it's supposed to just because it's brand new doesn't mean it's been used yet so that's where you still want to get everything tested inspected worked out you would have a one-year builder warranty with these so that if anything does happen within that first year of you living there you know, the builder would still have to fix it you know provided it's normal wear and tear in normal conditions not you or your kids breaking stuff or messing something up like that so uh, this gives you an idea of storage space which you don't always get to see in the pictures because obviously it's not pretty but we need to make sure we check it out while we're evaluating this house. Um, that's a mana block if you're not familiar with what that is, meaning that you can uh, shut off the water to an individual source if you have a problem with like a toilet or a shower or a faucet. You don't have to turn off the water to the entire house on it all. Um, so that's the utility room area. Evaluate, make sure everything's in order it's supposed to, make sure framing's all done correctly, wiring's in the right place, all those things we can visually inspect with my construction background to give you an idea of like is this built well or not sump pump area sump pump closet uh, if you're not familiar with kansas and why we have sump pumps we do get decently heavy rains here with clay soils that doesn't allow the water to go anywhere be besides between your foundation underneath your foundation then when it freezes and thaws that's where you get the cracking and movement and penetration from the outside of moisture getting down into your basement so there's two potential hazards there of water getting into your basement and leaking and also pushing the foundation around 90 percent of that is prevented by proper drainage away from the house which usually on new builds it's not an issue but it's definitely something to keep an eye on over time as a homeowner to take good care of your house and then on this side of everything we have two more additional bedrooms pretty good size that have the egress window and the closet to make them officially a bedroom. You have an additional bathroom over here too to make it a five bedroom, three bath total. So full tile in here, tile showers, brush brass fixtures, modern cabinets and amenities. Another good size room. Um, I've had people ask me before why they have this phony wall here. And the reason for that is because it's a view out underneath that wall is the foundation. And so that's why you have a bigger 12 inch concrete block that's needed there and then above that is two by four framing possibly two by six uh, but just because of the way that the foundation of the structure is built that's why you have that lip and that edge like that in case you didn't know now you know and then another big walk-in closet give you an idea so that's the additional two bedrooms and bathroom downstairs and then the wet bar set up over here where you have a full sink and then you can put either a dishwasher tinch leaf it's got the supply lines in there actually it looks like that's just set up right now for like a wine fridge or some type of appliance like that and then we'll go out back to show you the back side of the house too but you have a walkout basement into a pit it's really a view out but they still consider it a walkout since you can walk right out although it's not quite like a true walkout with the elevation where you walk right out to everything flat and open show you the back side of the house you know it's not real interesting but it does matter just to give you an idea of like how many windows this thing has and then the lanai concrete deck on it all so to your neighbors what your neighbors houses are like you do have uh easements utilities back here on this particular development you can do wood fence or wrought iron 
and up to your preference. Gives you an idea of how close sizes are, lot sizes are here, and where you're at. So keep in mind, we can do this with any house in Wichita that's listed that you want to see online. We can do a virtual video walkthrough. We do a ton of these for our reload clients. Typically don't do them with people in Wichita because it's better to do it in person for them and us, just because we don't necessarily run around doing this for everyone unless we need to have to type of a situation or everything. But we'll go upstairs one more time, round this thing out, finish it out and let you get about your day. So there's the view in the back with the five giant windows, almost floor to ceiling, pretty dang close. Mid-century modern design with kind of some angles and coffers in the ceiling and the full kitchen bar with granite countertops, tall cabinets, walk-in pantry, what have you. So that's it for the tour of a Northwest Wichita new build by Craig Sharp, listed with Melinda Cryer, Richie, and Develle. Richie and Associates. Uh, if this is one you want to check out, let me know, shoot me a message. We can help you either buy a spec home, a retail home, or help work you through uh, the new build process. We have about three of those going on with our current clients and open to more because sometimes if you can't find what you want on the market, you need to build it. And it's still very important to have a purchase agent like myself that has a contractor construction background in the picture for all that. Uh, but appreciate you watching as always. Check out some of my other videos on Wichita and real estate and all those things related. There should be links or ways to get in contact with me down there. Appreciate you watching as always and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.